balmy night here in the Octagon in the centre of Dunedin City. This is the ceremonial start of the Otago Classic Rally, sponsored by Stadium Cars. We're going to catch up with a few of the front runners. Alistair McRae, we're at the start of the Otago Rally in the Octagon. You were here a few years ago, but you come back this year with your own car. Tell us about it. Yeah, I was here in 2009. Uh, we were leading the rally when the engine went, and then the organisers in Dunedin the kind of put a deal together, got me down with my own car, which uh, has only done one event, uh, it's a Group 4 Escort and you know, really looking forward to the events, fantastic roads, a great event and just looking forward to getting out there. I've got to say it's a fantastic looking car, you built it yourself, it's a Group 4 BDA, the traditional Escort BDA? Yeah it's full, full Group 4 spec as they ran you know, back in the late 70s, 80s so uh, she's as she was and we'll see how it goes. I'm sure there's going to be a fairly hot pace tomorrow when the rally starts in the morning. You and Hayden Padden at the top of the field. Have you got a game plan? Yeah, you know, obviously Hayden's uh, doing a lot of mileage at the moment. He's going very well in the, in the WRC. He's shown some great speed. But there's also a lot of other New Zealand drivers that will go quick as well. So I think tomorrow morning it's quite a long stage to start. Uh, we'll see if we can get a good rhythm going and, and push as hard as we, as we feel we can. Hayden Pedden, we'll just interrupt you while you're signing some posters here. Great to have you at the Otago Rally. You're on a World Rally programme. What makes you come to Otago or want to come to Otago? For me it's one of the most enjoyable rallies in the world and some of the best roads as well. And I guess it's the closest I get to home as well. And to come and drive a BDA is... Uh, it's a lot of pleasure, so really looking forward to this weekend. So you talk about driving a BDA quite different from what you drive in your everyday job. Um, what sort of things do you have to think about when you jump into a BDA? Uh, yeah, it probably couldn't be more contrasting to be honest, but uh, you know, I think when you come back to a classic car, it seems like it's in slow motion to what we're used to, but it's almost a bit like a jet boat as well. You've got to, you've got to steer it on the throttle, so lots of sideways looking out the side windows. and. Uh, you know, it's uh, the way rallying should be. Derek, um, you're what we call our local hope this year. Um, have you got a game plan? Yeah, I think I said in the paper to brake later and accelerate earlier. And uh, so you're going to stick to that? We'll be watching tomorrow, you realise? Oh, I'm going to try my best, Lordy, but um, look, it's a great event, really enjoy it. Um, some good competition this year and... Um, you know, if we put a new engine in the car and gearbox, so I'm really looking forward to giving it a good thrashing. Marcus Van Klink, you're the first non-Ford Escort on the road. What's going? What's in store for you this weekend? Oh, I think we'll give it a good crack, I reckon. Uh, it's the best looking car, obviously, so, uh, you know, we'll see how stage one and two go, and then we'll play it by there. It's a long rally, and, um, you know, history goes through, you've got to be there on the last day, so the plan will be to be there or thereabouts. So there we go. The car's about to get underway as they go over the start ramp behind me very shortly. But of course, tomorrow's where it all starts when they get out on the gravel.